Hey baddies, welcome to another Auntie Amy's Trashy Tarot. Today I'm doing a pick a card all about has magic been cast on you? If so, what kind and by who? So as you see before you, I have three piles of cards and three objects. These are going to be your psychic linking objects. I will be pulling more cards as I go. And at the end of each group, I'm going to be getting letters, initials, and charms. So we're going to be finding out more details about your situation. And often at the end of each group, during the charm reading, uh, the ancestors and other spirits you work with bring through kind of side messages. So it gets gets kind of interesting to see what comes through through those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a little video clip that has each of these objects up close. I also will insert one that will show these a little bit longer for those of you guys who need a bit more time to see which group you're drawn to. Now if you are drawn to more than one group there may be more than one message here for you and with that said I'll see you beautiful magical bewitching baddies on the other side. Bye guys. group one all of you that selected witches be crazy this is your reading all about has magic been cast on you if so what kind and what can you do about it if anything if you want to do anything about it so we're going to get into it now i want to say something as i was connecting with your energy this seems kind of intense okay so um just kind of know that all right now at the end of this reading i'm going to be getting letters initials and charms as well so be sure to stay tuned for that i'm gonna put your hat right there so let's get into the pre-shuffle here a few cards came out um so let's just get into it the first card is this is thistle 25 isn't that a beautiful card all right we have trap Okay, it feels so intense to me. It just feels so intense. We have High Priestess. We have Crone. And we have Angel of Silence. And we have the Crown, Spirituality. These are very intense, powerful cards, all right? Um, I feel a betrayal here. Um, I feel a distance. Um, thistle is a protective energy. Um, it is used to anyway. <laughs> In the old days, it was highly aligned with the thought of witches flying, like witches flying ointment. It doesn't really have any of the like magical powers of that it's more like a sympathetic magical aid um you blow it into the air um as like a, a sympathetic magical aid to astral travel um but it's known for its protective magical properties it's also known like in medicinal now i'm not a practicing herbalist or anything but in medicinal areas it's known to help with like uh joints and things and bleeding and things so, like that so. um so we have this very protective magical energy here with the high priestess and i feel like the high priestess the crone had to step into their power um and become with a crown highly aligned okay um and it feels like this was a feminine energy that had to kind of align against a masculine energy okay um 
and it feels very protective. So I want to get into the toxicity here. Has magic been cast on you? Um, I'm feeling more like this is a feminine energy that has has casted like protective energies on themselves that has affected someone else. Um, also some other types of magic. Um, and we can get into that. But I want to get into the, the toxicity of this. Shoots their shot, tries their luck on whoever catches their eye, but only goes after who is interested in return. Okay. Could be romantic, but it, feel, it feels like there's a tie here. There's a bond. There was a bond here that you had to protect yourself from. The Truman Show pretends to take people seriously, but only for their entertainment. You know, this may have been someone who was like fucking with you. Fucking with your emotions uh, in a big way. Uh, I'm going to get some more toxic energy. We have primal fear. Mm. Mm, I feel that. I feel that deeply. They use fear as a way, I feel like I want to cry, as a way to control or in intimidate people in their lives. But it may only be an act and they may not follow on their threats or they may. So I, I feel that. I, I feel the intensity of your pile. Um, now, for some of you, what's the bottom? It takes two. Wants more than they can handle, but thinks they deserve it due to their ego. Okay. Um, so, I feel like this may be a cord cutting that you have casted um, that has affected someone else. And I don't feel like they've necessarily casted in return, but they could have. Okay. Uh, it depends on your family. Some of you guys come from a magical family or this person is magical too. Okay. You are magical. Um, and I feel like you had to really step into your magical power to assert yourself. Okay. Um, and this has to do with, for some of you guys, like childhood shit. Okay. Like bad, bad stuff, like shadow work stuff. Okay. Um, and you've had to cut some cords, uh, that were very painful. Some of you guys have had to cut them more than once. Um, you casted protections. Um, you've released energy. Um, some of you guys, this is like, a divorce situation um, where you casted to get distance, you casted distance and protections on if you had children with this person, um, you've casted distance um, or severing. And I don't, and I feel like the severing is not because you necessarily think that's good in a traditional way, but because this person is so this, it would be this, it, this would be the reason. Okay, I got to tell you, like the energy feels, it feels, I want to, you, you had really no choice. I feel like some of you guys may feel a little guilty or bad about this. Um, you still may be dealing with, you know, how this affects other people around you that, you know, you've had to get distance. Perhaps you cut somebody off. Maybe it's that simple. You cut someone off. Uh, Perhaps, like, again, there, there's been some spell work here, ritual work. It doesn't matter. It, it, you know, you don't have to do the candles for it to be magic. Magic can take place right inside your head because that's really where all magic happens within. And we just reflect it out with the candles and things like that. So keep that in mind, okay? Always keep that in mind when people mention magic. It doesn't have to be the craft. It can be the craft within yourself. You can have a whole temple altar with all the, the gadgets and gizmos inside your head and be very effective. You, you can have none of that and be very effective. So um, I, I feel like you're very protected. You're untouchable. That's what came out. You're very protected, okay? Now I feel like now I'm feeling with this trap, this trap energy, I'm feeling like you have set up some kind of energetic traps. I'm seeing spider traps. You may have used like spiders or spider traps or Venus fly traps or some kind of trap. You could have used mouse traps. You could have used different kinds of traps um, or this is coming through for you to use. 
okay, for you to use um, to catch this energy. Um, because I feel like for a lot of you, this hateful person um, is still sending terrible energy. You're cut free from this, though, the blood of your enemies. Uh, Sekhmet. I'm not sure if I said that right, but um, I love her. I love, love, love her energy. It's so powerful. Um, I feel like there's just this energy of wanting you to know that you are cut free from this, like you are released from this. And if you've set up some kind of astral traps or actually done like the physical manifestation of those traps in like jar work or or some kind of like warding work, whatever it is, um, definitely that is working, okay? You need to charge those. I'm getting, you need to charge those, clear them and charge them, okay? Because this person is still talking their shit, okay? Um, now, I feel like, I feel like some of you guys may have, have, with the blood of your enemies, I'm feeling like now we're getting to more like offensive uh, spell work. And I don't mean offensive. I mean offensive, like an offensive play on this person. I feel like some of you guys are after some justice here. Tell me more about the blood of your enemies. Tell me more. Okay, we have evil eye. They think you don't know it's them. Okay. <laughs> Tell me more. Tell me more about this evil eye protection. You are protected. I think that's the overall message here. You are protected from this person. Saint Expedite. Urgent help, swiftness, manifesting a miracle. Okay. If you guys have casted some kind of justice work um, against this person, I, I feel like it's going to be successful. Okay. Saint Expedite, he is a saint of... Uh, miracles manifesting of, of like, you go to him a lot, like if you need help, like financially, like, like you need a little money for something, like you have an unexpected bill, boom, he's fast, he works, you know, um, he's a great loving saint, uh, he's also, um, he's good to talk to, <laughs> he's a good one to talk to, um, and he does help manifest miracles uh, in, especially in financial situations uh, where there's like real, real need. Um, yeah, so let's get some tarot here and get more into this. Um, I feel like you guys who have done cord cutting, I think this other person is feeling it, okay? Because I'm getting, I'm getting pulled back to the blood of your enemies. And I, I just, I feel like they're, they're going through it here. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Tell me more about this, the bottom. We have the Knight of Swords. <laughs> we have the Four of Pentacles. And the top, we have the Seven of Pentacles. And we have the Ace of Cups. This is what I'm feeling as far as like how it's affecting this person. Okay, I feel like, first of all, it's being affected in their money. All right? It's almost like how your life starts to flow more positively, how you start to receive like more good in your life. Um, the opposite happens in their life. Okay. Um, I feel like there are cups presented to this person that for some reason they're unable to grab. It's almost like they're unable to get any good offers, any good, real good offers, really solid offers, like everything that's being offered is a shim sham. I feel like this has to do with some spell work. Um, it's almost like it was like a karmic kind of spell work, like what they did to you is being done to them because all of their bullshit that they said to you, um, all the promises, all the empty bullshit is like is represented in these offers that aren't real. They're fallacy. I feel like they're getting lied to a lot. They're getting misled a lot. And a lot of it is affecting like their security, their money, their pentacles, because we have, you know, a couple of pentacles here. Um, I also feel like the Knight of Swords is 
an aggressive knight. I always get that with the Knight of Swords. Um, aggression can be good in competition. Um, and I feel like for you, a lot of good things um, are aggressively approaching you. Um, what I mean by that is with speed, okay? Um, but I think for this person, I feel like, I feel frustration here. I feel like a frustrating energy. Um, and with that frustration, they send a lot of that your way. Here's the thing. If you've cut a cord, they become more frustrated because they can't energetically feel you anymore. So what's happening is, is I feel like they may be taking this out on other people around them. Okay. Um, and you know, it's not your fault. And I, I want you to really understand that it's not your fault. Um, you probably knew that this would happen. Um, that's probably why it took you so long to do what you did. But I also feel like you probably came to a point with the crone where it was like, you know what, if I don't, if I don't do something, uh, my, I'm, I'm in serious jeopardy, like physically, financially, whatever. Like I have to protect myself. Um, whether it be a, a traumatizing thing that happened in childhood or this was a partner, whatever the situation. Um, and I tell you, like, when you're in desperate situations, you have to make powerful choices. And they do shimmy out and affect other people. And that's just the way it is, you know. Um, the people around this person... I feel like there could be like alcoholism here or something. The people around this person have to decide that they're no longer going to put up with this. Okay. They're the ones that have to say, I'm going to not support this kind of bullshit anymore. And for some of you, you know, that day will never come because those people are hooked on something that person has, or they are comfortable in the chaos and the bullshit. Or they made it, you know, they're, they're close to them and they came from that. So I'm going to pull these two cards here. We have conquering social anxiety and healing with mother nature. I feel like part of the beauty of this work you've done is that a lot of your anxiety is going to be relieved with time. Um, you're going to find a lot of your issues with confidence. The thistle also talks a lot about confidence, about being confident. Um, and I feel like people like this can really shake your confidence. They can, and I mean the kind of confidence where it's hard to move in the world. Okay. I'm not talking about the confidence it takes to get on the stage. I'm talking about the confidence to make it through the day. Okay, they can really shake that um, because you start living in kind of a hyper vigilant fear of like falling apart in front of people or losing it or not being able to be normal or fit in because you're wounded. You're so wounded. Like this is Three of Swords heartbreak. Okay, for me, Three of Swords heartbreak is like the deep kind of heartbreak you feel in your body. You feel it in your vessel. Okay, and it can be very traumatic. And trauma is different for everyone. Don't ever judge your trauma. Okay, we're all different. All right, and you're allowed to be traumatized by, by whatever the fuck you're traumatized by. You don't make the rules for your nervous system. Okay, it just is what it is. All right, some of you guys are judging yourself for like having anxiety. In this world today, we all have anxiety. Every day, it's something catastrophic happening in the world. And I want to tell you guys who are young, you know, I'm 52. I'll be 53 this year. Um, it wasn't like this, okay? We didn't have, like, wars and weird shit happening every day. It's not normal, all right? This is an everyday shit. So... Yeah, of course you have anxiety. Of course, of course you're scared. And then you have this shit going on and the world's exploding. Of course you do. And it's okay, all right? Because Mother Nature, your practice is here. And the crone and um, the high priestess speak of going deeper into your practice deeper into your spiritual curiosities, deeper into your consciousness, finding strength there. 
not allowing your shadow to swallow you, okay? And there's shadow here. There, there's deep shadow here. And listen, I understand how comforting shadow can be, but you can't live there, okay? I, I lived in my shadow for too long, and it was really hard to get out of it, but I did, okay? The shadow can be very comforting to those of us who have had a hard time in life. But, you know, I had a mentor tell me one time, even Persephone came out of the shadow, Amy. She had to come up for spring. So you have to come up. And I, I feel like part of the spell work that you've done was a movement towards that. And I have to say I'm super proud of you. Group one, I'm super proud of you, you crazy witch. <laughs> I feel like you guys just summoned everything you had to get away, to make space. Like, I feel bravery here. I feel boldness. I feel like you were just like, I, I've got to do this. And some of you guys may have had kids involved or vulnerable people. You're a vulnerable person too. And even in your shaken state, feeling broken, feeling alone, you found your power. And you, you casted and you got away. Um, you made space. And some of you guys, uh, you wonder how this, how this person is right now. I'm going to pull on that from a different deck. Let's, let, let's get a little bit more. Let's get some tea on this bitch, shall we? Let's get some tea on this bitch. I want some more <laughs> before we go. Tell me more. So they're frustrated. <laughs> Their pinnacles aren't really coming in. I feel stagnation with the four of pinnacles. I feel like with the seven, I feel like they're working. They're working at it, but it's not... They just can't, they can't get anything real to happen. It's all like an illusion. If they're looking for a job, it's like, you know, when you, I don't know if you guys experience this now, but back in the day, when you look for a job, they had all these fake and phony like job opportunities where you would go in and you would know immediately it was fake because it would be like an open call. There'd be like eight people in there and they would stand before you at the chalkboard or the whiteboard and they would be in a cheap suit probably and you would end up getting a spill about selling some kind of fucking gross perfume or some shit, right? And that's kind of what's happening to this person only in a modern kind of way and they're very frustrated. It's like the signs are hanging outside the business, but they're not really hiring. We have the page of wands. Ooh, <laughs> I'm feeling like they're a little grumpy. They're a little grumpy. They're running their mouth. The queen of cups here. <laughs> what I'm feeling intuitively with this queen of cups is that. <laughs> and this uh, page of wands. I feel like there's a lot of whining going on. There's a lot of like, why me? Why does this keep happening? Why, why can't I? And I'm also feeling like, see how they're holding their cup? I feel like this cup is full of something they're drinking. And they're just whining and bitching. Whining and bitching. Literally whining and bitching, some of them. And we have the Ten of Swords. <laughs> I'm so done. This feels dramatic. They're very dramatic. Do they have Leo? This feels very dramatic. Like, I'm, I can't believe they're doing this to me. Some of them are outraged that you are not around. Um, they, they feel the lack of your energy. Like, they feel your, they, they miss your energy because they can't feed on you anymore. So a lot of them are feeding on some, something else, if you know what I'm saying. And they're pissed off. Here's the deal. They're not pissed off because they miss you. They're pissed off because they can't, they can't shit on you. They can't, they can't get to you. You did the right thing. The three of wands. <laughs> See the horns there? I feel revenge with that three of wands. Like, you're not going to do me like this. How dare you do me like this? You're not going to do me like this. Give me another card. We have the king of wands. Ooh, manipulator. Okay, so here's the deal. They are thinking about a way to manipulate themselves back into your good graces. 
good graces. I feel like, though, they're going to be stuck on that. It's almost like some of them, especially if there's any kind of substances involved, they're going to kind of sit and, like, ruminate. If, is that a word? Ruminate? Ruminate on that for a while. It's going to be like a hyperfixation. And you, you know, you need to be aware of that energetically because it may feel like hatred coming towards you. If you feel it, you may not because you're very protected. Okay. But if you start feeling that it's time to charge your wards. Okay. It's time to, you know, maybe cast some more protection and then, you know, clear your energy, cast some more protection, uh, charge your wards, um, or whatever you have going on. Um, if you've cut the cord, I, I don't think you'll really feel it. You may become aware of it indirectly. Someone may tell you, oh, did you hurt? Did you hear what they're doing? Man, things are bad. They lost their job and they can't get another one. And they started, they started doing that thing again. That's how you know. And you may hear that because I feel like with all this like wand energy, I, I just feel like they're talking. I, I feel like they can't. And it, it feels sloppy. It feels like sloppy talking too. So let's get you guys some letters, initials, and some charms. Hey, group one. These are going to be your letters, your initials, and your charms. Keep in mind, it's a general reading. So just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I had to get up and move something. It was making noise on my vent. So that's what the headphones were all about if you saw that in the fast forward thing anyway so you got lots of charms here i'm going to read off the letters for you you got a few letters not a whole lot but we have p e e w a a v k p j a <laughs> we got p here or p i also feel ew <laughs> this person may like smell from like you know substances or something um People may just like not like them. They may have like a nasty disposition and people just may not like being around them. Um, we have a calculator. Okay, that's really interesting. We have the bull's head. You might be a Taurus um, or an earth sign. We have a stethoscope. We have a tower. Yeah, I feel like you had a tower moment with this person. I think it was really bad. Um, we have uh, this rock here, which feels to me very much like it gives me a clear crystal quartz energy. I feel like you need to clear your energy more often. Um, the stethoscope here, um, I feel like it will help you with your anxiety if you clear your energy more often. We have uh, a soldier here, a spider. Tell me more about that. We have a bat. Um, we have a key. Okay, a Hecate. I'm feeling the energy of Hecate, like pulling close. Um, as well, we have a bicycle, we have a bat, we have another bat, we have teeth, we have the vampire teeth. Okay, I feel like this person is, is talking shit about you, okay? Um, but it's, it's the same old shit, it, it really is. There's nothing new that's being said. Um, I do think people are listening for some of you, but they're the people who they're using substances with. So who fucking cares? Um, and I feel like for this person here, there's a tower coming for them. Um, and it has to do with their lecherous energy for some of them, for their energetically like vampiric energy. Um, and there's something here about faith. Um, there's something about their face. Some of them, um, they may act like they're super religious, but they're doing something that is extremely um, not okay. All right, not okay. And if you know, you know. I'm not going to say much more than that. I, I, it's not required here. Um, and with that, I feel Hecate pulling in. And for some of you guys, those of you who um, are close with her, um, it's like a message coming through about she wants you to know she sees your devotion here. Yeah, she sees your devotion. Okay, she just wants me to pull. Okay, I'm going to pull. She's wanting me to pull from the Lilith deck. Um, no, no, not this deck. Okay, she's wanting me to use another deck. Okay, this deck in this box. <laughs> okay, 
All right, she wants me to pull. So there's a message for you. Okay, there's a message for you. So we're gonna, this is just a separate kind of thing. Okay, it happens during these charm readings sometimes. She wants me to pull from the Witch's Wisdom Oracle deck for this. Okay, Hecate, what message do you have for my group one? I'm hearing well done, well done, well done. Pulling two cards here. Initiation, spirit, hearth, homecoming. I'm seeing an altar here. Some of you guys, if you haven't made an altar to Hecate, I highly encourage that you do. If you have made one, um, she's very happy and pleased by it. Um, and her spirit is very much there, okay? And there are blessings around your home. She's guarding your home. She's present in your home. Look for signs of her, okay? Um, don't, I'm hearing like, don't dismiss the knocking. Don't dismiss the doors. Don't miss, dismiss the open doors. Um, they mean something. Uh, every noise, every unique sign means something. When she opens a door or she knocks, she's telling you that doors will be opening in your life. Okay, we're going to get three cards here. Okay. We have the three of stakes. There's some boobays there. <laughs> Which, uh, Dracula's dreadful and curious things. The three of stakes. Um, there, there's been a tremendous amount of pain in your life, okay? And she sees this. She understands this, okay? And for some of you, you've never really had a home a place to call home, a place for your heart, a place where you feel safe um, emotionally and physically. It's very hard for you to have that. Um, we have the eight of coins here, all right? I feel like in, and we have the queen of stakes here, which is the queen of wands. And I feel like she's wanting you to know that there is movement in the areas of money and career, that's going to help you get into a situation with a home or a sense of home within yourself or actually a physical home that you are going to be able to feel like safe and secure, okay? That safe and security is coming and it's going to open doors, okay? It's an, an initiation, um, because there's going to be a lot of validation for you around some of the other magic you've been doing, some of the other actual works in the world you've been doing as well, the actual physical work you've been doing, it's a manifestation of that. It's a manifestation of the magic and the work. This is not something that you've just done magic and haven't done work on it, okay? This is something you've done work on. Um, and she wants you to know that, like, your sense of home and safety, your sense of, of, a family even, it is coming, okay? It's coming. Um, your time of, of not having that is, is coming to a close with the Ace of Cups here. There is a wish fulfillment coming for you. And we have the Empress here, okay? There is, I know these cards are kind of graphic, but um, there's a wish fulfillment here for the Empress. I, I feel the, the, as her torso is kind of gut. Well, it's not kind of, it's gutted. You know, you've given everything. You've given everything to move away from bad situations, to better yourself. Um, you've dug deep. You've done the shadow work. And I feel like Hecate specifically wants you to know that you may feel like it's not been seen. You may feel like it's not coming. And a lot of you have kind of just you've kind of accepted where you are. And a lot of people don't understand that acceptance and being happy where you are a lot of times eases manifestation in because that happiness and that peace that you get to, it allows the universe to work. There's no more frustration about where you are. There's no more working super hard to make shit happen. You're in a totally different kind of perspective of like, you know what? I'm happy with the way things are. I'm satisfied. Would I like things to be different? Sure. But, you know, I'm okay. And that's good. 
that allows the universe and your God forms, Hecate, to move in ways that you may not expect. So for you guys who really resonate with her or you resonate with this message, pay attention to when the knocks come, the doors open. Um, pay attention to the unusual things that happen around you because I feel like Hecate is going to be giving you symbols and messages and a lot of those are going to be directly around you they won't necessarily be like oh i saw a black dog it will be like a little paranormal okay a, a little weird uh, and that will be her all right okay group one that's what i received for you i hope this was helpful if it was please let me know down in the comments below i would love to hear from you guys if you haven't subscribed yet please do i'd love to have you as a member of my tribe and if you'd like to see more auntie amy's trashy tarot give me a thumbs up and i'll see you beautiful magical bewitching baddies on the other side Bye guys. Hey group two, all of you that selected Witch with Attitude, this is going to be your reading all about has magic been cast on you? If so, what kind and what can you do about it if you want to? Maybe you don't. Um, we're going to see what the cards say. So keep in mind, this is a general reading. So just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I will be pulling more cards as I need to for clarity. And at the end of this reading, I'm going to get letters, initials, and charms. And we'll get into some more information about the reading. Also, some side messages can come out. Uh, group one had Hecate come forward and I pulled cards and everything. So you just never know what's going to come out in the charm part of the reading. So let's get into it. The first card that you have is Wolfsbane. Okay, beautiful card. We have Nature. Okay, we have Witch Hunts. Ooh, that doesn't feel so great. We have Moon Magic. Hmm. We have Angel of Memory. Okay. And we have Angel of Dreams. Okay. Um, I gotta tell you, I, I feel like you pissed off like a person connected to a group or a group of magical people or someone connected to a group of magical people or just someone who's very powerful okay um and i feel like there's a connection to the moon here they may be using the moon to come through your dreams okay if you're having strange dreams uh, this could be a validation of that. There's shapeshifter energy here with the wolfsbane. Now, wolfsbane will make a shapeshifter, you know, unshapeshift, okay? But in astral, you know, things are a little different, okay? So, um, yeah, uh, with memory here and the witch hunt, I, I feel like, like you've had, you know, like, there's been investment of time here with this person. So um, this is someone who, you know, you spent some time talking. It may be online. Um, so let's get some more energy here. Let's, let's get into the energy here. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this situation, about the magic here. Um, I don't know if I've ever pulled witch, witch hunts. Um, and I feel like this person feels they're accusatory. Like this is an accusation flying about you, about something you've done. Um, for some of you, they feel slighted. They think you're misguided. Um, and there's this, let's, let's pull these cards. I, I, I'm going to get three apparently. The temple of my body. I won't cry for you and fated to suffer. Ooh. It's starting to feel kind of vengeful here. There, there's a real hatred. I, I got to tell you, like, these 
people, because it feels like for some of you, it's more than one person. Okay, so just this is where you take what resonates. This is where you use use the discernment. Okay, you use your discernment. There could still be messages in here for you, but you have to discern what is yours. Okay. All right. So I feel like there's an energy here, be it one person or several. Okay. That if you have any kind of health problems, they are honing in on that. They are honing in on that in a painful way, or they paid some money, somebody to hone in on that in a painful way. Like I'm, my speech, you may be having trouble speaking or communicating. Okay. Um, now here's the thing. There's a lot of you that this hasn't really touched you because you're very protected, but some of you guys are being affected by this. Okay. So again, use your own discernment. All right. This is a general reading. Um, let's get some more energy here. Um, they don't feel bad. They feel justified. They feel this is their justice. Okay. Um, they feel justice is writing for them. All right. Um, and I feel they're using the moon and the power of nature, okay, to cast. Um, and uh, I also feel this energy of hunting, hunting you down, hunting you. Um, like a spirit kind of sent to kind of like be on you. Um, try to get through your protection. Some of you guys, it's almost like there's a war on to get through your protections, um, to try to get to you. I feel this, for, I can see like a dome of energy. This is symbolic, like a dome of energy. And I can see these spirits, like different kinds of like, some of them are maggots, literally, like maggot forms. Maybe they use maggots or flies. Um, but around your energy, they reduce to like maggots and they're using like a chisel and a hammer and they can't get through. Of course they can't get through. Um, they're, they're reduced when they come near your energy, near your protections. They're reduced to their most, um, what their, their, their most lesser form and they can't get through your protection. So um, for some of you, for others, like you're feeling the hit, you're feeling the blow in your health, okay? Um, okay, this card came out. We have St. Lazarus, back to life, being healed, being helped, saint of the poor and sick. Those of you guys who are feeling this, like this came out, okay? Uh, those of you guys who are feeling like the hits, in, and I'm not saying go to the doctor, Go to the doctor. Go to the damn doctor, okay? You know, our bodies do get sick, physically ill, okay? We can have things wrong with us. This whole thing that everything's spiritual, there is things that happen to the body, and we have to get care for it. Use your own discernment, okay? But St. Lazarus is very powerful with healing, all right? And very easy to work with. Um, and some of you guys... This is your invitation to work with St. Lazarus, all right? Very powerful spirit. Um, again, very easy to work with. You don't need a lot of the, the bells and whistles, okay? You just need yourself and your, your need and, you know, light a candle, say a prayer, you know, get in their energy and um, very easy to work with, okay? And I feel like, I also feel like, a lot of you guys like who aren't really feeling this, you're, you're going through a healing process. Like this is, you're going through a healing process. They're never going to get to you. It's never going to happen because you've healed so much. Okay. So I'm feeling people on different levels of healing. What I would say to those of you who are feeling this, do more protections. Protect yourself. Listen to Auntie Amy. You cannot have enough layers of protection. Protect thyself always. Okay? And if you are not feeling well, because here, here's the thing. Sometimes we have to take a break from doing magic because we have to take care of the body. And a lot of times doing magic when you don't feel well, you just don't feel like it, you know? You know, you can have other people do it for you. You know, you don't always have to be on all the time. You know, but if you need some protection and they offer it and you have the ability to exchange energies, do that. Okay. Take care of yourself. Do it yourself. You know, do as you're guided. 
okay, group two, this really is about you listening to your intuition and doing what you're guided to do, okay? Um, I feel like there is a lot of healing energy for group two. For some of you guys, if you have mental health issues, they're honing in on that as well. They're trying to exploit your weaknesses. So basically, what I'm getting to long ways around is any weaknesses that you have, they're trying to exploit them. They're using magic to exploit them. For some of you, this is work. This can be work. I'm getting work vibes now. Okay, let's get some more energy. Tell me more about this. Ooh, I got several. I'm going to, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're going to get connect with your ancestors or spirit. So some of you guys who are struggling with this, you need to connect with your ancestors. Okay, flat out. And again, again, people are always like, well, if I do my ancestors and I have to get all this shit, I have to do all this stuff. Listen, listen to your auntie. All you got to do is do you, do you have a picture of one of your ancestors? Do you have something around you that makes you think of ancestors? It can be a feather. It, it, it can be a key. It can be a picture. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be. It can be a button. It doesn't fucking matter what it is. Can you get a little candle? It can be a tea candle. It doesn't have, you don't have to go to the store and buy an elaborate candle. Can you get a bottle of spring water or water, just clean water? That is a setup to connect with your ancestors. That's a basic setup right there. And honestly, you don't even have to do that. You just have to reach out to them. Because one thing about your ancestors, one thing they know, they know the struggle because they've been through it. They've struggled so hard. We don't even understand the level of struggling they have gone through. So, you know, for you just to interact with them in a positive way and ask for them to come in and intercede on your behalf, it, it's so healing to you generationally. So I encourage you, like if, if you haven't reached out to your ancestors to help you with what's going on in your life, I encourage you to. Also, there's St. Lazarus here. We have justice. Anubis is weighing someone's heart. Ooh. So <laughs> let's get into some of the stuff that you've done. Because I feel like in this situation, I feel like the truth is some of you guys have done a return to sender. And there's some kind of little twist to this, um, or you've actually casted for on this person or situation, or you've casted a justice spell. Some kind of I mentioned justice before, so be it known that it's in play here. It, it's it's in play. Your magic is in play. Okay, we have fiery wall of protection. You need to protect yourself. Those of you who are feeling the hits. You're feeling it in your life. You need to protect yourself. Layers of protection are very important. And they actually help your magic work more efficiently. Just like layers of attraction are important. That attraction work, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it often. It helps prepare you for the other work that you do. We have victory. Nike, you're going to have victory here. The spirits are like... First of all, you're victorious over this motherfucker who's throwing magic at you, okay, trying to pick at your protections because they seek your destruction. The witch hunter, what do they do? What is their ultimate goal? What was the inquisitor's ultimate goal? That's what these people have in mind, okay? So your protections are very fucking important. And some of you guys have very elaborate and beautiful protections and they're working beautifully and it's reducing these energies to slugs and maggots and they can't get through. Others, you, you need to do layers of protection and you will feel more victorious. A lot of you guys will get some relief from some of the anxiety you have. Clear your energy, clear your energy. Listen, there are times when I'm feeling like certain kinds of energies around me, I will clear my energy several times a fucking day, okay? There was a time in my life where I took cleansing baths like three, four times a day because I was doing so much deep shadow work. I was feeling so much ick coming through, okay? So just be open because we have victory here. There is victory coming. There's justice coming. But you must protect your energy more. The last card we, hear, we have here is the beautiful and radiant Lilith. Okay. Beautiful energy here. And Lilith is in play. Maybe you cast it with Lilith. All right. Maybe you use the power of Lilith. We have to see her. We have to see her. 
She can't be on the side here, the sidelines. It's Lilith. Um, you guys may align with Lilith. She's very good at healing, like, traumatic things. She's wonderful, wonderful at shadow work. Um, and she's a protectress of her children. You may align with being a daughter or a son or a child of Lilith. When you are, she's a fierce protector. And nothing, nothing will really happen to you. It, you know, you may be affected by things, but not as badly as you would if you didn't have the protections, if you know what I'm saying, right? Like the maggots, they may, you know, make a little dent and you might feel a little, uh, but you just clear that shit, right? It's not like a major, a major thing. I have to say, I feel like the caster is getting frustrated. Um, whether you're feeling this or not, I feel like there's a frustration because this is like dumb's energy. This is like war war energy this this is like um because i'm starting to see like different workings here and i'm seeing um i'm seeing dead trees so this may have been done during the time when there were dead trees so winter late fall winter um perhaps i don't think early spring because everything's dead um, and i'm seeing a tree I'm seeing like markings on a tree. I'm, I'm seeing circling around. Like they use some kind of energy like that. Um, and it's baneful. <clears throat> I'm seeing a jar placed by a tree. Uh, and that's that's an old practice of leaving things by trees, rooting um, certain kinds of magic to trees. That's a practice. So, um, And someone has a jar on somebody here. They have a jar. If we're working a jar on you, um, some of you guys, there there could be a box, a coffin box. I'm seeing the lid shut. Um, but I feel like you're, a lot of you are protected from this. Some of you guys need better protections. Um, and this is spirit just telling you, you need to protect yourself. Okay. Um, I'm seeing all kinds of things. Some, some are like one person, some are a couple of people. Um, for some of you, this is like a digital, um, I'm feeling like, I know this sounds, this is just what I'm getting. Um, like a hyper sigil. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but it can be like a digital hyper sigil. Um, especially if you guys are online, um, and this is an online situation. So just take what resonates here. Okay. Um, let's get some tarot here tell me more about this situation tell me more um, i'm gonna get lilith's cards i think she wants to talk okay dark mother these are the cards that lilith has selected it's the cards she likes to come through okay i feel like you have an accuser and this may be a second, a secondary energy that I'm feeling. Um, we have the eight of cups. We have the nine of wands here. I feel like some of you, this, this may be family, um, but some of you guys, you have an accuser. There, there's another card here. We have the world. Um, this accuser. I feel like you've moved away from to start another chapter. You know, you, you just, you picked up, you had to pick up the wounded soldier, the wounded warrior. You know, you just kind of had to pick up and move on. Maybe you came out of the witch, witchy closet and got judged by someone who was very religious. Um, or you're just judged in general for your appearance. And with that Lilith energy, you were judged for, you know, um, being more authentic, uh, being more of yourself, being strong, um, being vital. Um, and I think for some of you, you've just had to kind of move on from that. Right. And it's been hard. And I feel with the world, you know, you may have had to literally move, move like where you live. Um, you may have had to change jobs. I feel like some of you guys have really had to change. There's been a lot of change in general for you, but you've survived. Um, and I, I feel this energy of this accuser who remains, remains accusatory. We have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, they're fired up. They're still very fired up. I feel like you're doing something. 
Um, we have the Five of Cups. You're doing something, you're continuing to do something. Perhaps it is the fact that you're continuing to practice um, your craft, what have you, um, being authentic. You could, it could just be you're being more authentically you and they don't like it. Um, but it's causing some, a lot of anger. Um, I feel this person, um, feels like in some ways they lost you to this. Um, and it's getting really dark. Like the messages are getting dark about this. Like they feel like you're, you're going to, you know, that place and there's nothing they can do about it. So they feel very guilty. Um, they also feel extremely judgmental, um, and manipulative. So I feel like this person has a lot of programming. Um, there's also this energy here of like, well, we have which with the attitude. So, um, they feel like you're rebellious. Um, like you have a rebellious energy that needs to be, um, Oh, I don't like this, like tamed. I don't like that. I don't like that energy at all. So um, it's still here. So if you're wondering if that person who like was judging you is still, was, is still that way, yes, they are. And you're moving on was good. Um, it really helped you open a chapter. If you guys are thinking about moving um, or changing jobs, I feel like um, it's good. I feel like it's a good choice. I feel like if you don't, you're going to, you're going to have a lot of regrets. Like you're not, you're going to feel like you missed something. So, um, I, I feel like it may be hard to change like this change. Cause I'm, I'm picking up on a change coming in now for you guys that resonate with this. Okay. So use your discernment. All right. Um, that there, there's some kind of change, some kind of move, some kind of door opening, some kind of movement here where, it's important that you be brave and bold, okay? And and you walk into it with a positive attitude um, because I feel like, I feel like if you don't move, you may really regret it with the five of cups here. Like there may be some regret that you didn't take the leap kind of thing. So believe in yourself, okay? I know a lot of you have had a lot of like negative talk about who you are. It's been hard to step into your power um, but I, I really think that it's a power move. You're going to be asked to make a power move. And that power move, I use the term power move because it's almost like a step in validating yourself. No longer allowing other people to be the voice of your validation. And you stepping forward is like a self-validating moment in your life. So, all right, let's get you guys some letters, initials, and some charms. Okay, group two, these are going to be your letters, your initials, and your charms. Keep in mind, it's a general reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. All right, so these could be a screen name, your name, the initials of a screen name, what have you, okay? All right, so we have M-O-T-J-B-Y-O-Y-J-I-C-L-B-Z-G-B-A. So I have joy here. We have boy, boy, joy, joy, boy. <laughs> um, I feel like there are, if this is a group of people that you knew, it's weird. I got to tell you, it's weird. I feel like some of them really miss you and they like you, right? I feel like some of this intense, like hatred, you know, hate and love run very close together. And it's almost like, if you're not going to give me the intention that I want this way, I'm going to get it another. It seems very immature, but for some of you, there's some, like, there's some admiration here. Um, we have the Lilith charm, and we had Lilith come out here. Um, it's almost like she wants to give another message. We have a, a cup and a corkscrew. We have a red car. We have a Lego block. And I feel like um, this is like a separate message, which I've been getting a lot of separate messages today. So um, we're just going to go with it. I feel like there's something you're building, a foundation of something you're building um, that is, there's a cup going to be offered and it's really going to give it motion. Okay. Some kind of cup. Now this cup could be investment. It could be you starting to invest I feel like investing in yourself, realizing that you are 
like the project if you're not doing well the project won't do well like if you don't start investing in yourself you can't build what you want to build okay um it's like a connection being made of like you you are the shit okay it is you you're the magic you're the project you're the success it's you okay um it's time for you to dominate it's your turn it's your time and in order for you to do this you have to invest in yourself okay you have to see the truth of your power, which you're very powerful. Some of you guys just haven't walked fully into your power, okay? And you need to do that. You, you need to respect the truth of yourself. Some of you guys need to sit down and have some real conversations with yourself. Some of you guys are not, listen, I feel Lilith coming in. Some of you guys are not taking care of yourself, okay? You're casting all this magic, you're working yourself to death, and you're not taking care of yourself. And you've got to stop, okay? You have got to make time to take care of yourself. That means sleep. You need to sleep. You need to eat right. Nourish your body. Nourish your soul. Nourish your mind. Have some fucking fun. Now listen, you're talking to someone who desperately needs to have fun myself. I get it. It's hard to have fun, especially if you got health issues and you're trying to work and you're trying to do, I, I get it. But you need balance. You want to bring in this mo movement, this emotion, right? You want to you want to taste that sweetness. You you need to make time for balance, okay? And some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. And there's a if you're doing that, sustain that. Keep it going. Keep the pattern going because it's healing you in ways you don't even know. It's going to build your confidence. And that confidence and that peace that you're getting in your life is going to give you inspiration to help you build the foundations, to help attract this cup with a corkscrew. It's ready to go. It's ready to pop open that bottle of champagne to celebrate your victory, okay? Because let's not forget, we have the victory card here, okay? So there's victory coming for you, definitely. All right. And for some of you guys, like once you get your protection set up, once you get yourself in a more uh, relaxed state, in a happier state where you're taking care of yourself, you're getting the sleep you need, you're getting the care you need, you're going to find motion. You're going to find that things come easier. Wow. I feel a spirit right here. This is so like I saw the head of a child right like here, like out of like, the corner of my eye. Um, some of you guys have a child spirit that's trying to reach out to you. Her name may be Joy or a Joyce or a J name of some kind, okay? It, it also may, it may be a boy, maybe a, a, ma a masculine little boy, okay? Um, and there's something about a uh, road, okay? Um, there may have been like a car accident or they may have been in the road, um, this may be a, a child that is around your house or haunting your house. It may not be your child, okay? Um, I, I feel like this is a validation. They're coming forward just to validate that, yes, that's me doing that. I f I'm seeing a chest or drawers as well. They may be attached to um, a very old set of chest or drawers. Um, I feel like there may be another name for the drawers. It may be a more elaborate name because it feels very old. Like it would have like a Southern name, a Southern name that came over from like Europe or something. Um, I'm also feeling like there may be um, some um, ancestors attached to a piece of furniture um, as well. I'm seeing also seeing like, a, a, like it's not a cameo but I'm feeling it as a cameo, but it's not a cameo. It's a piece of jewelry um, that has a deep significance. Um, I'm not being allowed to actually see the piece of jewelry because it is um, within a certain practice and I honor that kind of stuff. So, but there's some kind of special piece of jewelry that is aligned with a particular practice. Um, and that spirit is coming forward as well um, to let you know that they are indeed attached and they are indeed the spirit um, of that practice. So you have, you do have that. All right. And that's for, if you know, you know. All right.
Okay, group two. Whoa, I just got a lot of energy all of a sudden. Okay, guys. Okay, group two. That's what I received for you. I hope this was helpful. I hope this was an enjoyable reading. If it was, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. And if you'd like to see more Auntie Amy's Trash Tarot, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you beautiful, magical, bewitching baddies on the other side. Bye, guys. Hey, group three, all of you that selected you put a spell on me. This is going to be your reading all about has magic been cast on you? If so, by who and why? So um, we're going to get into it. Uh, and I want to say your stack feels really, really powerful. Okay. Um, at the end of this group, I'm going to get letters, initials, and charms. And of course, I will be pulling more cards as I need to for clarity. So let's get into it. Okay, we have Camilla, beautiful card. We have Experience, <laughs> I love this card. Um, we have uh, Magical Tools, we have Witch's Script, we have Sigil. Oh, you can't see this one. <laughs> this one has nudity so i can't show it to you but we have ritual magic and i will just put her over there because we have boobies etc um so i just want to say that this feels very powerful okay i feel like you're very powerful um and i'm feeling a couple of things so use your own discernment here it's a general reading so um i'm feeling like this is either something you casted on yourself or someone very close to you has casted it on you, um, or both, okay? <laughs> you know, uh, it feels like it could be one of those two things, okay? Um, we have sigil here, we have witch's script, we have magical tools, we have ritual magic. I feel like um, you have deep occult knowledge. Someone here has deep occult knowledge. Someone may be using high magic to do this. Um, and I feel like they're not talking about it. Okay. For some of you with this card here, this card is about sensuality. It's about beauty and luxury, all those good yummy things and really enjoying your life and enjoying what you have. Um, and knowing that prosperity comes from that. It's about not having lack as well. Um, there's a lot of magnetism here. Okay, a lot of magnetism. And I feel like you may have casted some kind of magnetic charm on yourself. Um, this could be like a, a come to me. Um, this could be like a, um, what am I thinking here? Uh, a come to me or a um, deadly attraction kind of spell. Um, also, what what is the other? A bewitching spell, something like that. Um, a spellbound spell. Um, it feels like attraction that could tip over into love or prosperity. Um, you may have casted this a few times. Now, some of you may have someone casting on you as well. It could be someone close to you, um, and they're not telling you, of course. Well, you know, that's kind of the real secret, isn't it? When you don't really tell people what's going on, you know, you don't let them know. Um, it really does make things it is kind of the secret ingredient to magic, but let's find out <laughs> about what is going on with this, about this uh, energy I'm feeling. Um, it feels like this person, if they're casting on you, they're very powerful, okay? You're very powerful um, and very deep. This is very deep energy. And we have experience here, which is from Hellraiser, but I'm, I'm really focusing on experience. Uh, and I'm wanting to find out what exactly, that is a whole hunk of cards. I'm going to need a few, a, a, a few less, a few least of those. You're going to have to give me less, lesser cards. I don't need a chunk. I need like one or two, maybe three. There's one. Okay. I don't want to get that one. Okay. Can I have another? Can I have another? That one doesn't want to go back. Okay. All right. We've got to get messy. You go over there. I had to pull, push the skull out of the way. We have a Queen of Cups. We have the Moon. And we have the one, two, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of pentacles. Okay, the queen of cups, the moon. Look at that. They're howling at the moon. There's a wolf. There's a wolf man and a crab. Well, it's not a crab. It's a lobster and a skeleton. But I think it's probably a skeleton wolf. You have this crazy moon here. Very primal energy. Oh, my. And we got this queen of cups here. I feel like she's holding this cup like it's her her booze. <laughs> like, it's mine. That's my cup. It belongs to me, and you can't have it. It's a special cup. If it's not booze, it's her special cup. It's got some special, special, special in it. You know what I'm saying? And I feel this energy, like... If it's not a person, it's an energy that like wants to be around this queen, like wants is coming, like is attracted. It's the attraction energy. Okay. And for some of you, like you may not see it yet. Okay. It's hidden from you. You may not see it yet. I feel like so, for some of you, like this is manifesting in the etheric in the liminal space, in the space in between, it's starting to manifest. But, you know, you've put in the work, you put in the magic, you've done the action here, and you're just like, it's my cup. I know my cup is coming. I know my cup is coming. Um, and for some of you guys, like, this is a person, okay, who's hiding, they're hiding who they are, okay? Um, but I feel like, first of all, they could be, they could be a cancer, okay? Um, they also could be an earth sign. It could be a Taurus. It could be a Capricorn or a Virgo. Um, and you could be a water sign. You could be a Scorpio, a Pisces, Cancer. I feel a lot of Cancer energy here. You may not be those signs. They may not register at all. And if they don't, they don't, all right? Um, but I feel this energy maybe presenting as like, you know, very like, I don't know, like reserved. Okay. They're very reserved, but behind that, behind the moon, they're hiding this primal energy. And for some of you, they have used this primal energy to, to cast. Okay. And they're casting because they, they want You've casted some kind of attraction energy, uh, and I feel like it's affecting this person. And so they're wanting to experience you, okay? They're wanting more experience from you. They're wanting a deeper, transformative experience with you. They may have used sigil magic um, as well. I'm seeing magical tools here. Um, this may be you. This may be your tools that you used. Um, but I feel like, I feel this energy just around you and it's, it's affecting, it's affecting people around you. For some of you guys, I, I feel, wow, I just felt somebody like behind me and I felt someone touch my crown. Okay. Um, we have a tower. We have the three of swords. Okay. And we have the knight of swords. Okay. Yeah, it's affecting someone around you, okay? And uh, they really want to come in. This Knight of Swords is always aggressive, okay? Always aggressive. And uh, I think they're afraid that you could break their heart. I think they're afraid it's not going to work if they come in aggressively, now, this could be someone from your past as well that you've had a tower moment with, okay? Um, tell me more about this Three of Swords, because I feel like this isn't like a bad situation. I don't feel like they're going to break your heart. I feel like they're coming in to help you heal. Yes. <laughs> yes. We have the Five of Pentacles on this This is what I pulled on the Tower and the Three of Swords. I pulled the victory card. I pulled the five of pentacles and the high priestess. I feel like they want to come in. And to me, 
this is about like it, it's very cold we have like um abominable snowman here or bigfoot um and we have the hands coming out of the snow and you know the five of pentacles really is about like being on the outside you know and two people being on the outside and i feel like they feel like they're your person i know it's weird to get from this card but like they're willing to like be in the outsider energy with you like to be you know what i'm saying i'm i'm having a hard time kind of like getting this across okay but they want to meet you there in your heartbreak like the areas of yourself that are still heartbroken by something the tower feels i just want to tell you like this heartbreak this right here feels very it feels like baggage you're carrying from deep wounds okay and i feel like this person and it's somebody around you it could be your partner that's being affected by this and perhaps you know y'all have only gone to a certain level in your relationship it could be a friend okay um and they're like wanting to like come in and go deeper to heal this traumatic situation that's left you wounded um and so you know they want to come in and be in your winter with you in your suffering i guess that's what i'm trying to say like they want to meet you there all right but i feel like they don't quite know how to do it um and some of you like they've casted magic on this they've casted like attraction just like you have like they've mirrored you in some way they're being affected if you cast attra attraction they they're attracted to you and they want more depth like i feel like deadly attraction like a deep powerful it may not be literally deadly attraction but some kind of deep powerful levels of attraction that come from your core come from your center come from your heart chakra come from your sacral come from your solar plexus and this person feels it deeply and they're wanting to go like to a deeper level to help you heal. Um, and there's a lot of victory with this. Okay. And I feel like this is really going to help you kind of level up yourself in your craft. Um, I feel like this is something that you may not have expected as a side effect of the work you're doing. This level of connection this level of deep attraction. I think a lot of you casted this on yourself, if you have, uh, probably for money and opportunity, especially in these days and age, uh, these day, these ages, these days. I can't even talk, you guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, so I get it, but I feel like some of you guys have someone who has cast it on you. They've casted some kind of attraction um, and they know you. Either they know you personally or they feel like they know you online. Um, but I feel like for most of you, like you have interaction with this person um, and they're trying to get you to come to them. It may be some kind of come to me spell or something like that. Um, because they want to heal your heart. They feel like they can heal you, okay? Um, and they feel it could be victorious because uh, they feel like you're the high priestess. So it's a couple of different things here, okay? Um, what else do we have for my group three? I feel like you're very powerful. I really do. I feel like you're very powerful and I feel like whoever's casting on you needs to be careful. Um, because I feel like you have protective energies around you. Um, for some of you though, this is someone really close to you whose energy you wouldn't necessarily turn away. So it may be something you might invite. So it, it's use your own discernment here. Cause I feel like for some of you, like this is somebody you really care about. It's like a partner or somebody, and they may not be casting, but they are reacting to your casting okay and it may be that you didn't cast directly on them you cast it on yourself and this is a side effect <laughs> so you have your partner or somebody close to you wanting to come in and go deep with you and help you heal because this is somebody who would know that you're you're carrying baggage or deep wounds from some kind of trauma okay 
um, because you've either talked about it or they feel it, etc. I'm going to get some more cards here. Tell me more about my group three. Tell me more about my group three. Okay, they want me to switch decks. It happens. <laughs> Tell me more about my group three. Tell me more. Okay, we spilled a few. We have evil eye protection, jealousy around. Okay, you have jealous bitches. Of course you do, group three. You're very, you're very powerful. Of course you have jealousy. We have, you have a good heart. Boom. You're a good egg. You have a good heart. Okay, we have protection, beauty, love, fertility, Bassett, Bast. However you say her name. I love her energy. I absolutely love her. I feel like this is a confirmation. If you've casted any kind of beauty spell, any kind of attraction spell, any kind of like love yourself up spell, any kind of charm spell, glamour spell, any kind of self-love, or you've casted a love spell on yourself, because that's the most effective way really to do it, it's, it's working, okay? If you've casted attraction, to manifest prosperity the attraction part is working you're attracting you you've done something to your partner <laughs> by this attraction okay if you have a partner or if you don't you've done something to somebody who's close to you and they want to they're wanting to go deeper okay it's like a side effect now these cards okay basset bast how do you pronounce it how do you pronounce it let me know i would love to know i the the spirits are really good with me because due to lupus, I've kind of lost some of my crispness with words and things, and they're very forgiving. So we have creeper, uninvited guest, uncomfortable. Okay. We have severed, hung up, zombie maze. Okay. So this is confirmation. Like for any protections you have casted, they're very effective. Okay. Um, and someone, maybe you've cut somebody off. We have hung up, no communication, lost, creeper, uninvited guests, uncomfortable, zombie maze, confusion, or ooh. So I feel like you guys may have casted something to um, confuse and disorient those who would dare to kind of like cast baneful magic on you. Um, it's not exactly a return to sender. Um, it feels like, and this may be something you've casted proactively towards someone who has baneful uh, intentions to you, and it's a confusion spell. Um, it's something to uh, disarm and disengage. That's what I'm hearing. Disarm, disengage. Um, and I feel like you do this because you know you could blow them out of the water, and you're, it's, like, it's like a warning shot. Um, because I feel like you're very powerful and you try to be patient with people who are being clowns. This is clownery, tomfoolery. Okay. So you, you cast like confusion, disorientation. Um, and they find that when they try to cast on you a lot of times, and this, this is baneful shit. They, they become confused in their life in general. We have the uh, the Four of Cups, we have the Ace of Wands, and we have the Queen of Wands. Uh, and they want me to take this card. And we have the Eight of Wands. I feel like they're overcome with the Eight of Wands, the, the Cup out of the blue, with the Ace of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. This is a lot of fire. So I feel like the Confusion spell, if you casted one, I feel like they're overwhelmed. They're overwhelmed. This Cup... Like, I didn't plan on that fucking cup. I didn't plan on this. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I've got this stick in my hand. I've got this cat. i got this flower over here. i got these bats. I'm overwhelmed by this shit. I can't handle it. I feel this energy. I like, can't handle it. And this Ace of Wands feels like anxiety. It feels like, uh, like energy just kind of arising. And I feel like anxiety. I feel overwhelmed. Um, I feel like uh, I can't sleep. I feel like I'm worried about this cup. Why did this cup show up? Why the fuck did this cup show up? I, I don't know. I don't know where it came from. I feel like uh, whoever is receiving this spell, um, I just feel like I'm caught off guard. I'm overwhelmed by this. Things keep coming towards me. 
the energy is very intense. I feel like I can't relax. I feel like I'm having to make a lot of big decisions all of a sudden, and I don't know what to do. Um, and my usual manipulations, I, I can't, I can't rely on those. Um, and people want me to make decisions right now, and I can't. I can't do it. I'm just overwhelmed. So I feel like your spell work is working. Okay, it's creating the confusion. Um, and I feel like what happens is, and this may be part of your intention, is they get so caught up in that, that coming after you is like not even on the chart anymore. Now, eventually this calms down. And as it does, a lot of times they make the connection. They're smart. Sometimes they're not. And they try it again later, much later. And the next round of confusion, the next round of dis disorientation is more intense. It's like it builds. Like if you don't get it the first time, dummy, you're going to get it the second time, the third time. And eventually this turns into like mental health issues. Okay. Like serious issues. And how this releases is when they make the connection that messing with you causes this dis this disorientation, this chaos in their life. It's very effective. It really is. It doesn't take much. Most of them make the connection pretty quickly. But um, it's brilliant, actually. It's a brilliant work. So I applaud you. It's working. <laughs> so, all right, let's get you guys some letters, initials, and some charms. Hey, group three, these are going to be your letters, your initials, and your charms. Keep in mind, it's a general reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. These could be your initials, their initials, a meaningful word, a screen name. Just take what resonates. All right, so the, the initials we have are Q-A-U-C-S-U-Y-G-W-E-M-I. Their initials might not be there. If they are, they are. All right. Okay, you've got quite a few um, charms here. Whenever I get this charm, uh, this for me is like Beelzebub, uh, magician energy, um, uh, witchcraft, uh, magician, high magic energy. So that's just a validation of the high magic, ritual magic energy we have from this card that you can't see because it's got boobies um, and other uh other things that might be interesting we have the um this is the ancestor charm for me so we have ancestor energy as well you're very powerful we have um this symbol which is uh this also this reminds me of hecate okay so we have hecate energy we have a passport with a skull and crossbones um you may align with uh the baron uh, the Baron's energy as well. I'm feeling his energy pull. He's pulling through my back here. Um, we have pineapple. Oh, you got the pineapple. Pineapples are signs of money, of, of money, like quite a lot of money manifestation. So um, we have uh, love here. We have a donut. Donuts are like, if I could eat one thing forever, it would be donuts. It would be a donut for real. <laughs> we have the witchy charm. We have another, um, this is like a sugar skull. We also have a spider. Okay, so you have a lot of ener energetic presence around you, like for sure, in your house. Um, you have spirits in your house, okay? Uh, some of you guys have goddesses, so you have god forms, some of you guys have ancestors. You also have ghosts. Some of you guys have spirits of those who have passed over. They feel very comfortable around you. We have a ghost here. Um, I think you make a spirits feel very at ease. We have a, a guitar. You may be a musician. Um, for those of you, you're creative, okay? I'm getting creative energy. Like, I, I'm getting, like, uh, taps on my shoulder from like um, the Baron, Hades, like uh, the masculine energies of the underworld. And they're talking about like how creative you are um, and how some of you guys need to understand your connection with the spirit world, your connection with these gods, these spirits, ancestors. If you ask them to help you flow in your creative flow, they will help you bring through more powerful um, works through your creativity. Um, they will also help you align more with more powerful, um, roads and, and, uh, streams of consciousness that will align with higher vibrations of prosperity. Um, and 
I feel like you guys um, who are witches, I feel like there are some rituals that uh, you they will bring through to you. These will be individual. You won't find them written anywhere. These are personal rituals. Some of you guys are going to be receiving new familiars. Um, they will be spirits you can't find in any books. These are going to be private spirits for you that are born from whatever God form of whatever paradigm you work with um, that are sent to help you manifest the pineapple is what I'm getting. So the pineapple is like big money. Okay, it's a big manifestation. It is major movement. Some of you guys have been working on some kind of major movement. Okay, this is going to validate your magic. It's going to validate your path, your road. I'm seeing three roads open. I'm seeing a pineapple. I'm seeing, <laughs> I love these spirits. I'm seeing um, the pineapple from SpongeBob <laughs> at the end of each road. So what that's telling me is like, you can't miss. You can't miss. Whatever you, don't fret your choices. Don't fret the choices. You can't miss, okay? The passport tells me you're going somewhere. You're going places, okay? We have the sewing machine and the thread. Some of you guys who are being called to create something, like a product, a clothing line, art, uh, invent something, go for it. Do it. It is divinely inspired. You are meant to do that. You are meant to be that creator. Some of you guys, it is like music or it's art or it's some kind of art form. Maybe you're a writer. Um, you're meant to bring that through. You don't just have these gifts for no reason. And, you know, I feel like part of the reason why you may be struggling with this is you haven't had a lot of support for your gifts or abilities or maybe you're struggling with your confidence in this and i feel like these spirits are coming in they will help you with that this this familiar spirit coming through that's part of why they're coming through for you guys um and you can form a very tight connection with the spirit. Um, if you want to, you can pick an object and that spirit can, you know, kind of rest there when it comes to see you. Um, do what you will with this information. All right. Okay, group three, that's what I received for you. I hope this was helpful. I hope you found this reading enjoyable. If you did, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love to have you as a member of my tribe. And if you'd like to see more Auntie Amy's Trashy Tarot, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you beautiful, magical, bewitching baddies on the other side. Bye, guys.